Nanu Nanu! Hello and welcome to a update and another spoiler video, I suppose. So Skybound has had its collector's update, which brings with it loads of new content and a whole bunch of bug fixes, which some of the community have been crying out for. Um, but I'm going to put up on the screen here a list, a little change log that Dan the man himself has shared. Um, so as you can see here, new content. I'm gonna I'm gonna read it for you. It's reading with cyan. So added sky trading cards and bobbleheads for players to simply buy and collect. Absolutely buzzing for these. I'm a complete geek. I like Pokemon cards. I like the pop heads that you can get. I'm all for collecting stuff, right? Um, the sewers have been updated. There's a new there's a new area in the sewers which we will check out a little bit later on. Um, and added a Sky Collectibles shop. So one of the empty, empty shops in the Market Square have now taken... Someone's taken residence and they're now selling wares. So again, we'll check that out as well. Added two new NPCs, the Geek and the Card Trader. There's now 10 more quests for after completing the main quests, which introduces players to the Collector's Update. Now, I haven't got that far yet unfortunately in my playthrough i'm still a little bit behind um there's new secret stashes to find which of course i've sniffed them out there's not there's no getting past cyan i found the stashes so hold to your horses i will reveal the locations of the hidden loot don't you worry there's now a new notice board which i'm going to quickly skip back to my view and you're going to see here oh it changed just in time I think this is the notice board. Yeah, it flickers from content update news, market square map to guide players around. So you can actually see we're sort of here in the middle. We've got the Never Portal straight sort of behind over there. We've got the arcade, the library, the player area, and then the safari zone. Safari over there, player area over there. So a very helpful and handy map. And it even shows all of the traders. And you can sort of... Ah, it went... But you can sort of match it up with the roof colours that were were on there. And then, yes, Skybound Collector Update. Um, what else? Added a card collector's box for storing all your trading cards. Very, very cool. It's like when you used to get the, the ring binders with the sleeves for your Pokemon cards. Oh, I'm such a geek. I'm having a full-on nerd, like, nerdgasm here. Um... <laughs> Slime balls can now be obtained from the recycling bins, which a lot of people have asked for, because early game, you need those leads for the block breakers, right? Uh, the safari pass now functions like all the other passes. So before, you used to have to actually, if I come back into my, my, my view now, let's move that off the screen, but you'd have to run all the way over to this big giant sort of Jurassic Park style gate, and you'd have to have your pass in hand and then get right up to that gate and you'd be allowed through. Well, now, I believe you can just crouch like the fishing passes, which I think I think is a lot more helpful. Um, I got a little bit bamboozled going up to that gate at first. You really have to sort of rub your nose up against it. Um, there's now a button which has been added to relight the Never Portal. So let's run over towards the Never Portal very quickly. Everyone's asleep. You may have noticed it's night time, but that's going to work in my favour for one of the uh, the changes that have come. And yes, we come up to the portal and you can see here there is relight the portal. Relight my fire. I'm thinking of take that now. Um, but yeah, <laughs> relight the portal. So if your portal's gone out, come and smack the button, smash it in the face like Granny Gamer would. And uh, that portal will relight for you. There's also a couple of extra buttons in this main sort of center um, bandstand, I suppose you could call it. And they're just here. So we've got Get Island Pass. So if you click that, you can see I've just been given a Cyan Island Pass. And that will obviously tie in with whatever island you picked at the beginning. Make sure you stand nice and close because if you're too far, it doesn't work. You need to really sort of sort of get your booty on it oh and i accidentally crouched <laughs> don't right yeah get get your booty on that give it a little twerk um on about twerking actually we're gonna get to some twerking stuff 
Uh, and there's also teleport back to the island elevator. And then apparently there's a way of allowing other people to join your islands here. I'm not sure how that works. Maybe, maybe if I came here, gave someone my Cyan Island pass and then they sort of went through and jumped through. Maybe it would, it would tie them then to the Cyan Island. I'm not sure. That one might, we might need a little bit more info on. Um, so yes, three new buttons. We've got get your eye in the pass, back to the elevator, relight the fire, your portal. There's also a new book in the library. So I'm going to run over there. And while I do run over, along with the whole twerky thing, um, you can grow trees a little bit quicker. So into the library. And we're going to go upstairs. Well, not upstairs, up ladders. And go round to this side here. So it's the long side where there's only... Look, there's two, two bookcases there. There's only one here. This is going to give us the all bugs and fishing loot list. So we'll nab one of those. Have a quick little look. And you can see here, this is all the collectibles from the safari zone and the fishing zones. So we've got our snails, butterflies, moths, dragonflies, and then all of the different fishing loot. Absolutely loads of it. It's absolutely packed. Uh, good old cat always lands on my feet. So let's run back out. The sun is coming up, but that's not an issue. So one of the things that people had asked for that they've actually worked on, Dan and Squidgy, is if you have a coin in your hand, look at that, they come straight over. So sometimes they used to sort of be stuck on their beds, but now, even if they're sleeping, they're going to wake up. They hear the jingle jangle of your coins. And they will wake up, get out of bed, and come and hopefully get some of them coins off of you. Um, let's quickly, the one last change was the added crouching to grow feature. So repeated, repeated sneaking speeds up crops and sapling growth. Now, where be it? Let's pop that there. Let's stick that down. Let's do a twerk. And you can see that we're getting some growth particles. And wow, it actually works. Look at that. I de def definitely didn't doubt that, lads. Definitely not. Um, so yeah, that works. Does it does it help the crops as well? Let's have a quick test before we go dashing off. Crouch, crouch, crouch. I'm not getting anything. Do I need to be on it? Okay, not sure about the cro crops, but you guys can give that one a test. It definitely seemed to work on that tree. So, heading back, let's go and check out some of the new NPCs. So straight away, over here where the Fisher salesman is, the, the fisherman, it's Lister in disguise. Um, don't, <laughs> I didn't tell you, I didn't say a thing. But yes, we have the Sky Collectibles Shop. And look at all these banners. They've got bobbleheads, they've got Sky Trading Cards, all now in stock. And if we come in, look at this. All new stuff. Look at these little bobbleheads. Oh, look at that. He's so excited he's dancing. Oh, look at that one. He, that's a very fine looking one there, isn't it? Fantastic stuff. Look at that. So, yes, we do have the geek over here. And he's walking about. But look, if I get my coins out, it's going to come over. Lot, lots of collectibles available. Absolutely does. So, you can see here that there are multiple different kinds of booster packs. So you have a friendly booster pack, and then you have a monster booster pack, and then you have a mixed combo booster pack. So I'm gonna buy one of each. I'm also gonna nab a mystery bobblehead box. Um, and we will go to open one of them in a little while, nearer, nearer the end. I also, spoiler alert, okay, there are two hidden spoilers in here. Um, one is there's there's a look, there's a there's a, a thing behind him there, but we can't actually reach it, right? But if we come to the back here, now these are really well hidden, right? Because I bet you didn't see that. Okay, that right there. If I jump and right click, it says storage. That is a storage card storage box. 
So we've got a Mooshroom trading card in there and a Strider trading card. Now, as well as that one there, there is in fact one at the very top there, look. So what we need to do is do a little climb. Now, the issue here, and I got a bit stuck doing this at first, is if you manage to do a bit of a sprint run jump and click. Okay, well, it didn't open. It did get me on this shelf, but I can't, I can't open it. Okay, I'm not close enough. Not like this one where we can click it to open it. What you've actually got to do is shift and hit it. Okay, let's punch it basically. So it's really hard to do, but let's see if I can do this. No. <laughs> Third time's the charm. Come on. So, run, jump, crouch, punch. Did I get it? I didn't. And I still can't. Okay, I'm going to give this a couple more goes. Hey, I got it that time. I say a couple more goes. So it's really hard to do. What you got to do is sort of do your, your little double dash jump. And then while you're in the air, quickly hit crouch and punch. And you're going to get yourself a card box. And there are, in fact, a couple of cards inside. Oh, no way. It's got stuck up on the ledge. Is there any way of me getting that, I wonder? Yes, I heard the pop. There it is. So we did, in fact, get a Wandering Trader trading card and a Cat trading card. So this is the Geek's Little Shop. Now, to tie in with this, there is, in fact, another. There is a second um, trader, okay? So we're going to make our way over to the well. And I'm hoping you guys know all about the well and how it does, in fact, lead... Oh, hello. I didn't know you can get bonefish down here. It does, in fact, lead into the sewers where the mysterious trader is, the creepy old guy. But we've now got... Look at this. This is new. Past these fence, these iron railings, this is actually all new. Okay? Now, there's two secrets down here. One is this door. But how do we get through now, I could go into creative and break them, but that's cheating. That's not how we're meant to do it. What we need to do is find a couple of buttons. Okay, so look away now if you don't want to know where they are, because I am going to reveal them. Okay, so the first one, as you come in and round, is over here in this corner. And there you go. Look, that's opened one of the logs. Okay, the other one round here, and this is really, really hard. But if you look through here, you can sort of just about see there is a button there. And if we can position right, you see it? If I, when I press it, it comes back up. Okay, so that's both of them. And that will then allow you to come in to the card trader. We're going to hold a coin in our hand. That will bring him over. And this guy is like, you know, backstreet card trading. So if you've got some swapsies or you want in some of the rarer ones, this is the place to come. Get your Neverite coins. And uh, yeah, have a little trade with the card. Oh, excuse me. With the card trader. Now, on my way out of here, if you're still hiding away from the secrets, don't look back yet. But there is, in fact... It's quite hard to see, but there is a lever here. Can I click it? There we go. I think we need to click it twice. But that, in fact, opens this here. Okay. A shulker box. And we've got, look at this. Oh, all kinds of good loot here. A power token, massive. A mysterious key. I've yet to use one of these. And then a whole bunch of booster packs. Okay, so a few a few new bits there to be had. Right, if you were hiding from the spoilers, you can look, you can watch again now. Actually, it's probably kind of pointless. We're going to find another hidden loot place. Um, so many of you have probably heard and seen the chat about a pink shulker. Well, the pink shulker is here, guys. It's part of this update. And I'm about to reveal to you exactly where it is 
and how to find it. And where it is, is up the top of that tree. And you're probably thinking, how on earth are we going to get up there? Now, if you've already completed the game, if you've already beaten the dragon and you've gone and got yourself some wings, well, you're not going to have a hard time flying up there and finding that. If you're still early game or you haven't completed it like myself, then we need a route to climb up. Now, cats, we all know cats are good at climbing trees. And I am no exception to that rule. I'm going to fall now, probably. I'm going to, I'm going to probably fall and die. Right. So what we want to do, enter chest here. We're going to hop up. And we're going to jump up here. And then remind myself what way we're going. I think it's up here, like so. No, it's not. <laughs> it's not that way. Right. If I remember, let me come back out the front because it looks like there's like a staircase. That's how I remembered it before. And I think it might be up that side. So let's have a look. Bear with me just a little bit. Okay, I've already done this twice, believe it or not. So we're going to jump up and round. We're going to come round here. And we're going to, in fact, hit a dead end. Right, okay. Oh, I'll tell you why. It's not that one you want to climb. Okay, I fooled myself. I was thinking, yeah, you definitely jump on the end of the end of chest. Not that front one. Go to the back, right? And we start climbing up here. This is right. So we climb up like so. And you're going to notice here, look, this almost looks like a staircase. Almost. Right? What we need to do is a little, a little run jump. Whoop, round. So you sort of run jump this way and hook yourself round. A little bit of parkour there. I know, I know everyone loves a bit of parkour. Um, climb that nice and easy until you get up to this point where you almost want to go back on yourself. Okay? And then sort of just keep climbing up basically it's as easy as that once you get to here you're going to want to get onto the leaves okay and then this is where i'm going to show myself up now i've forgotten the route no hold on there's definitely a route i might need to go back around that way but it's definitely definitely doable let me see do i need to jump on here okay there's the broken legs i was on about I'm determined, though. We will do it. I almost feel like the tree that I practiced on is different to this tree, but that can't be a thing. Surely not. Ah, yes, there we go. Right. So we need to get onto this sticky out leaf here, and there's almost like another staircase there. Let me just put it back to daytime so we can all, we can all see, shed some light on the subject. So there we go, a little sprint dash up to here, up onto there, and we just keep climbing. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, yeah, pro climber, he says. Such a liar. And I've got myself stuck in a bit of a weird spot right now. I might need to drop down. Oh, right, let's drop back down again. This is very embarrassing. Right, we're climbing up, we're climbing up. That's all good, right? We then jump over onto these leaves, look back, jump on to that leaf if I didn't fall. There we go, right? Have a little snack, a little mid-climb snack. We need to get up onto that log there. You have to believe me, I have done this already. Right, there we go. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. We can see the pink. And, oh, oh. And there we go. How did you get up here? Well, I'm a cat. What can I say? It's in my jeans, right? So, yeah, a whole bunch of pink goodies here. The bigger things, the most important things, I'd say, the shulker shell. Pink jellyfish, though. I mean, pink jellyfish is cool. So... Right, that is about that. I'm also going to tell you, actually, about some of the bug fixes on the way going back to my island. So bug fixes, the farmland can now be put into the botany pots. So some of you might have noticed before, 
Oh, good afternoon, Dibs. Um, that you'd put you put your soil in the botany pot and till it, but then when you got it out, you'd get farmland out, but you couldn't put it back in. A little bit strange, but that's been sorted. The botany pots and cobblestone generators now drop the items inside them when they're broken, um, provided they have the storage upgrade, obviously. So I had this issue myself where I broke a cobble gen, which was completely full of cobblestone, broke it and lost all my cobblestone. So yeah, that's been fixed. Um, there was a few holes in some of the builds. They've been fixed. Fixed. The Dan Robs Probs music disc, which I've yet to reveal how that works, how to get that. But I will be revealing that in my Let's Play. So if you're not already watching it, definitely, definitely get yourself caught up on that. I de oh, I definitely recommend it. All, all the reviews are 10 out of 10. Um, fix the player's NPCs spawning mechanics and names. So rightfully, they shouldn't be disappearing now. Um, oh, no, that's the, the player NPCs. They're the people that sort of make the the town center the market square feel busy right so they should be working better now the dripper now functions correctly with lava and sand before it would only work with the compressed sand i think uh fishing traps can no longer be placed in the player build area not sure why that's the thing wooden stools can't be hooked with fishing bobber anymore so you used to be able to, if you're in the fishing area and you'd accidentally hook one of the stalls, they'd float off into space, <laughs> never to be seen again. Um, so that, that's now fixed. Increase the hitbox of the block breaker to b break blocks more reliably. Try and say that 10 times. Um, the Brown Island teleporting loop has now been fixed. So if you're one of them crazy weirdos that went with the Brown Island, well, you should be able to play now. Uh, never, never write coin quest 33 not functioning that's now been fixed and fixed water making the quest table and teleporters disappear I think the issue there is some people were accidentally placing water down and then washing them off um, but anyway before we wrap up this little informative video let's pop open some of these so the friendly card booster pack what did we get? We got ourselves a salmon trading card, a tropical fish trading card, and a sheep trading card. So all of these are common, and you can see they're 12 out of 38. So as long as you get them out of the packs, you get this information whether they're common and what number they are, okay? These other ones that you find don't seem to hold that information. We've also got the monster booster pack, and in here we have got a zombie, we have got a slime and we have got a skeleton. And then lastly, but not least, the bobble head. Okay, so what we need to do is pop this down. And I've, I love the artwork on this. Look at that. That is phenomenal stuff. Almost definitely, definitely haven't seen boxes like this before. I don't know. They, they don't look familiar at all. But let's pop that down and break it so punch it and oh look who we have got we have got a mr beardstone bobblehead i'm sure most of you guys have been watching him play this pack as well if you haven't definitely definitely go and check him out there we go he can watch me chopping down the trees giving me some pointers look go on sign uh, that's, that's not his voice at all <laughs> oh impressions are not my forte but yes that there is all the updated stuff all the new things all the new spoilers and all the bug fixes so i'm gonna leave it there i'm not gonna start rambling hope you found this video helpful hope you're enjoying the pack and my little let's play of it um and until the next one take care stay cool bye bye